Since debuting in 2011, Long Island Medium has dominated ratings and made its star, Long Island native Teresa Caputo, a household name. Caputo's larger-than-life personality is undoubtedly to thank, as is her reported ability to see, feel, and sense spirits. But there's a lot you might not actually know about Teresa Caputo. There is no turning back. Real or just really entertaining? Tune into an episode of Long Island Medium and you'll likely get the sense that Caputo's communication with the departed is effortless and very much real. But according to some, that couldn't be further from the truth. A widowed mom of three who invited the reality star into her home for a reading revealed to Radar Online that she met with Caputo's assistant the day before taping and was asked to talk about her husband and his passing. The mom added, She promised she wouldn't tell Teresa, but she totally could have told her everything. And despite filming for a whopping six hours, she claims, Caputo didn't hit on anything surprising and became very agitated and angry when I shut her down. I refused to fake it and cry, Oh my god, you're right. The grieving widow even added, I don't believe her. I think she's full of crap. I don't think she really gives a shit about the people she meets. It's all for the cameras. Challenged by Chris Angel Famed illusionist Chris Angel personally called out Caputo and questioned her authenticity while promoting his new reality show. He set out to debunk all kinds of lies, both on the small screen and off it, turning his sights to a certain celebrity psychic medium. In October 2013, he tweeted to Teresa Caputo, Take my $2 million challenge or stop exploiting the vulnerable. If you're legit, you're $2 million richer. Not surprisingly, Caputo didn't respond or take the challenge, leaving many to question if she does indeed have something to hide. My brain just works differently. And you know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> Fraud Investigation Caputo landed at the center of a full-fledged investigation in 2014, when professional whistleblower Ron Tebow set out to prove that Caputo's ability to communicate with the deceased is a total hoax. He told Radar Online, Teresa is like a vulture preying on the most vulnerable. I think it's despicable. After spending a year interviewing Caputo's clients and colleagues, Tebow concluded that Caputo is simply reading body language and making high probability guesses, not talking to the dead. Tebow went on to suggest that Caputo does her homework and tends to focus on members in the front row. He speculated, When you purchase a ticket, you provide your full name, address, and phone number to the vendor. The vendor can share this information with their staff, and then they can investigate the individual audience members. No hometown hero As skepticism surrounding Caputo's abilities continued to mount in 2014, even her hometown turned against her. In a piece titled My Not-So-Psychic Experience with Long Island medium Teresa Caputo, Jamie Franchi recalled her own experience with the TV star and how she went from being a believer to a total skeptic. What changed her mind? Attending Teresa Caputo Live, The Experience. Of The Experience, Franchi recalled, I wasn't buying it, any of it. She was asking specific questions that, when they weren't met with nods of agreement, became described as merely symbols of other more general things. According to Franchi, the evening was peppered with incidents in which Caputo made claims that were met with shrugs of silence and quickly tried to turn them around. Franchi said she feels Caputo is a good performer, adding, She's got undeniably likable sass and charisma. I just don't think she speaks with the dead. Or she didn't the night that I saw her. That's fine. Lady Look, behind. you don't have to acknowledge it. I don't care. I don't care if you believe in what I do. Grandma and Tupac In addition to speaking with individuals who have passed on, Caputo claimed to also have the inside scoop on what life after death is really like in her 2017 book, Good Grief. Heal your soul, honor your loved ones, and learn to live again. The Long Island medium revealed that she believes the other side is the perfect place to meet all kinds of celebrities. The reason she knows this, according to the book, is because one day her cell phone began randomly playing a rap song, which she said was a message from her late grandmother. She wrote, Maybe she's hanging out with Tupac in heaven. Reeling from a split in December 2017, Caputo and her husband Larry shocked fans, revealing they were calling it quits after 28 years of marriage. The couple told People, We have decided to legally separate. We will always love each other and our two wonderful children. We are united in supporting each other and our family. Please respect our privacy during this time. With her marriage crumbling after nearly three decades and her husband moving across the country from New Jersey to Los Angeles, Caputo confessed to fans during season 12 of her show that she was struggling with the realities of her changing relationship. She tearfully discussed the difficulties of her separation, saying, To have someone be in your life for over 30 years and then not to have that person, that's my struggle. A Vision of Infidelity 
As shocked as fans were with Caputo's 2017 separation from her husband, it turns out the medium had a premonition about rocky times ahead for the couple, revealed in a 2013 episode of her show. Where have you been? I mean, where have I been? You're in big trouble. What am I in big trouble about? It turns out Caputo doesn't just communicate with the dead in her dreams. I dreamt that Larry was having an affair. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Seriously? Larry didn't exactly help his case. It's funny you mention that because I had a dream that some girl was trying to hit on me. See? I knew it. <laughs> While there's no official word on why the two actually split four years later, it's interesting to imagine whether or not Caputo's dream turned out to be accurate. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.